Good morning, Becky. Let's bring in Bastian, the CEO of Delta Airlines, joining us from the company's headquarters in Atlanta. Uh, good morning, Ed. It's a sweet Valentine's Day for your employees uh, as you announce uh, profit sharing of $1.4 billion. What? That works out to what? 10% of each employee's annual salary, salary approximately? Good morning, Phil. Great to uh, be with you. And yes, it's a great day to be at Delta. Uh, we're celebrating our employees' hard work with their success and rewards with a $1.4 billion profit-sharing payout. It's about five weeks of pay, a little over 10 percent, and I could not find a more deserving group of people. All the work, not just this past year, but getting through the pandemic. It's really, really a wonderful day, and it's a wonderful day to travel on Delta. Everyone's really happy today. Is this one of those milestones, Ed, where you can say, look, we've been making progress since the pandemic, knocking down goalpost after goalpost in terms of, you know, things that we want to do to accomplish, say, we're all the way back. Do you feel like this is one more example of saying second highest ever, uh, best since the pandemic in terms of profit sharing, and we're almost all the way back from where we were and the depths of the uh, pandemic? Yeah, we're, we're, it's a great milestone for us. Uh, we're going to be hopefully surpassing this yet again on next year's Valentine's Day. But it's, it's a really important marker for us because profit sharing is something that Delta created uh, within our industry. We've been doing it for close to 20 years. Uh, we've paid over $11 billion of profit sharing during that time. And you think about all the challenges that the industry has faced during that 15-year, that 20-year cycle. And uh, it signals to our employees that they're doing a wonderful job, that we appreciate, we love them. And we also thank our customers because our customers make it all possible for us. Speaking of your customers, what's your outlook on travel right now, what you're seeing? Travel's doing really well. Uh, we just finished the last five weeks are the slowest point of our travel calendar, and we, we saw the demand was solid through that period of time. Tomorrow starts the long President's Day weekend travel period, and we see travel at this point in our business going right through Labor Day. It's, it's, a, it's a strong line. The, the bookings are, are solid. Every geography we look at, we see really great uh, interest in uh, continuing to experience the premium uh, travel uh, that Delta offers. Ed, last time we got together in Atlanta, you talked about the steady progression of corporate travel bookings. Is that continuing, or are you noticing, as we've seen some of the layoffs in different companies uh, around the country and in different markets, um, are you noticing any pullback at all in terms of corporate travel? Uh, at the start of the year, we took another step up, and it stayed uh, strong. It's up probably about 10 percent from fourth quarter to the first quarter of this new year. Uh, we're pretty much back to the overall volume that we had pre-pandemic of traditional uh, corporate demand. And I know I don't see any, any slowdown at all. I see companies continuing to return to office. A couple of sectors that were the biggest laggards, such as tech, uh, the consultancy, some of the financial service providers, are getting back. People know they need to be out with their customers. They need to be out developing their business models. And the best way to do it is in person. And I have to ask you about your uh, competitors who are going to be called to uh, testify on Capitol Hill about their co-branded credit card agreements. And I understand you're not part of the uh, hearing that's going to be on Capitol Hill. I know your relationship with Amex is different than the relationship your competitors have with the credit cards that they offer. But are you concerned that Washington will look at the success of co-branded credit cards that the airlines have had and may want to try to get a little bit more hands-on in terms of regulation? The success that credit card uh, programs have had in our loyalty program with Amex is a direct reflection that consumers really want the rewards, they want the points, they want the miles that Delta provides together with American Express. And any time you are providing great opportunity, great value to consumers, I don't see anything that should stand in that way. One last question, Ed. Um, I know you ordered the Max 10s, and they're scheduled for delivery, at least when you ordered them in 2025, has yet to be uh, certified. And as you know, uh, there's, uh, their production at Boeing is capped right now when it comes to the Max. Do you still expect to start receiving those in 25, or is it more realistic that's going to have to be pushed out a bit? Realistically, it'll be pushed out. I, I don't know quite when uh, we will receive that plane. Uh, we don't have any of the Max flying in our, on our platform currently. Uh, we'll wait to make certain we understand everything that we need to know 
uh, that the regulators and others are, are inspecting on that program. Uh, but no, I, realistically, I'm sure it's going to be well beyond 25. A very quick question Thank for you, Ed. We, we've heard from the CEOs of Expedia and from Airbnb in the last couple of days, and both of them have suggested that travel is slowing down, getting back to more normal levels. The revenge travel uh, isn't really out there. Have you seen that in your bookings? We haven't seen that in our bookings, Becky. Uh, you know, what we see in our bookings is that premium travel demand is really high and continues to grow. Uh, hard to, uh, to, to make a statement. We've had the last five weeks, as I said earlier, was the slowest period traditionally in our calendar for travel. So I'm not sure I would, I would uh, use that period of time to, to make such, a, such an estimate. But no, everything we see, and particularly internationally, particularly business, um, corporate demand, all the, the, the premium experiences that we offer consumers is flying off the shelf.